Welcome back my friends, welcome to another lecture. Here what I'm trying to do is uh, to show you how we need to update from Laravel 6 point something to Laravel 0.7. So we start our project or the whole this course with 6.15 or I'm, I'm not sure, but it was 6 point something. Now at the moment if you go to Laravel here, the documentation sorry, if you go to Prologue and you go to Upgrade Guide you will see that we do have this 7 point something version. We started with 6 point, now we do have this 7 point. And there is a great guide for every version. Now we need to upgrade from 6 to 7. Now there are high impact changes, authentication, scaffolding, date serialization, symphony, and but I'm not gonna go like through each and every of them, but I'm gonna do it a little bit faster so you can learn how you can do this on your own without wasting too much of your time. Now, one important thing is that we need this minimum version of uh, PHP 7.2.5 before it was 7 point something right now also we need to update the composer.json you will see before doing that I just gonna jump to XAMPP hdocs folder and I'm going to copy this premium and I'm gonna paste it here so why I'm doing this because I we need a fresh copy and uh, we will do the changes here we're not gonna do the changes in our premium and this will be our next project for it will call Laravel Ulti Pro that's how we're gonna name it now this project it will be based on Laravel 7 and that's why the designing phase is already done in the premium and I don't wanna touch it I don't wanna make a mess or to, to do something that will um, make um, may make something wrong and after that to have to redo all of the videos that I've shoot so far so I'm just gonna wait a couple of seconds I should pause the video I'm sorry for wasting your time now we need to change the name and also what we need to do I'm gonna show you so I'm gonna be re gonna rename it to Laravel Ulti or Lara Ulti Pro give a meaningful name to it can be anything now if you don't know how to do this just watch my previous when we started go to the host as a as an administrator put Lara Ulti Pro the same name as this one go to the VH host go to the Lara Ulti Pro the package that we created right now it's not package actually the, the folder that we created the entire entire uh, application so go to the public that's what we are seeing and just the server name is Laravel to Pro now one more thing is that you need to open the XAMPP control panel and you need to stop all of the services sometimes it requires a time you, you need to wait not for the stopping the services you need to start it again and now if I go here sometimes it takes time Lara Ulti Pro .com. So it should give us our Laravel application. So if I go here slash landing, I should see our landing page, right? Now give a more meaningful name because it can have you can have problems here. If you can say Ulti Pro, maybe there is a company that already registered the main Ulti Pro and it will not show you. So something meaningful. Very good. Now I'm just gonna close this one. I'm not gonna go through the details because I know that you don't want to do this. Now let's go here. So if you are still npm run watch, control C and yes, right. Now you can see that we are doing PHP artisan check dash dash version in our version in a premium is 6.17.1. So if you go back to CD, CD, Lara, Ulti Pro, and PHP artisan version should be the same because we copied the file that's it now I do want to change this one to upgrade it to the seven point something now VS code open it locate your folder so this was that's the full path extra config sorry so if you don't know but you need to watch the previous video if you don't know how to do this now I need to go to XAM HD docs Lara Ulti Pro select the folder and that's pretty much it now what I need to do is to start going into our composer.json file so here we do have 7.2 and it's saying that we are required to have 7.2.5 so we can manually change all of this 
and also update your Nuno Maduro collision dependency to 4.1 4 and here it is 3.0 so we need to do even the PHP we need to do a lot of updating but we're gonna go end to the end of the file and there is a github repository of this version so here if I click to the composer.json we can just start comparing our project from here until here is everything the same this part is different so I'm just gonna copy this one and if I go like this because there is the miss missing comma here that's why it's like that so you can just compare it this is a different version fiddle um, fiddle I don't know how to say proxy is this one so we're gonna change it Laravel framework it's seven now before it was six so we don't need six anymore Laravel Tinker it's same but you can see that now I just want to delete the white space empty space so we can see that we have a couple of more things added fruitcake laravel course and this is for example if you install fresh installation of laravel right and that will be by default there now required dev we do have laravel ui here but we don't have it here and i'm just gonna copy everything that we have and i'm just gonna delete it so facade ignition will be changed Mockery to 1.3.1, Nuno Maduro and PHP unit was 8.0, now it's 8.5. So the config, everything should be the same. Yeah, just me have a look. Done, discover, test, I think pretty much same. Save this file and go back here. Now we're not done yet because we need to do a lot of, a couple of different changes. Now, here it is. In our composer JSON file, before in required.dev, we do have Laravel UI, but that was different version, one point something. Now we need to compose a require, and that what should be in the require section. In this section, we don't have it here. Now, pay, copy that one, and it's, or you say composer require Laravel that slash UI. And so if you don't know how to do this just copy it from here and delete this one and paste it so hit enter and see what's happening it should take a while I'm just gonna pause the video so if you you can see that mine is done but it's saying installation failed so I did this on purposely because we cannot require something and we tr before we do composer update right so now we have different here things that we need to do I mean we are trying to require the UI that was for the scaffolding but that is not possible at the moment because here what we should first do is composer update now I'm just gonna pause the video again we are still gonna have problems and after that you will see so it's loading a composer with the package information with everything that we provide here so it will install all the dependencies and after that uh, and it will update them but after that we need to require this that we failed before so now this is done but we have another problem and that is in our exception handler so this one doesn't exist anymore so it's in the documentation so if you read it carefully so before doing this we need to do something else now we need to use the throwable here. So Laravel 7 utilizes 5.x series of Symphony components. Some main minor changes, but the likelihood of impact is very high. So here it's saying that first the report and render methods of application, we need to change it to this. And it's an app exception handler. So we can go there, app exceptions handler. And here we have use exception. Instead, we need to use throwable that is new now we're gonna copy that one I'm gonna copy this throwable here and we need to say public function report throwable exception go back go down public function report throwable exception in public function render request throwable throwable exception 
So that's pretty much it. We need to save it now and make a composer update again. I'm just gonna pause the video. Now this is done and we have another problem called PHP Artisan Package Discover dash dash NC and attribute auth does not exist. That's true because before it was in composer.json here in required dev, but that we change it. Now then what we should do we should also auto uh, we should also require this Laravel UI repository. So all authentication scaffolding has been moved to Laravel UI, UI repository. If you are using Laravel authentication, so which we are, you should install 2.0 release for this package and should be installing all of the environments. If you're previously including in the package required at dev, which were, which was here, that one, and portion of application, now you should move it to require section. So how we can do this? We're not going to move it like this, but we can require it. So we go back here and we need to wait a while. I'm sorry guys, this it's uh it's like this, but here it is. composer.json has been updated. We shouldn't have any more problems here from now on. But yeah, let's see it. I'm going to pause the this one again. Sorry. Okay. Now it's done. When you see all the green things you should be fine. Let's do PHP artisan dash dash version and we should see another version 7.1.1 that's cool so that means that we have updated our application now one more thing if we look I'm just gonna close so we've done with the handler we've done with the composer.json by the way here it is Laravel UI before was here in the required dev so they move it that's very cool but we do have one more thing that we need to take care of. I'm just gonna show you but for that reason I need to go back again maybe I should open it in a new tab sorry about it. so opening a new tab now here if you go if you go to the composer.json saying that here we do have this uh, fruitcake Laravel course we do have a lot of things that it was they were not before included. Now, if you go back to a config, we can see that this course.php is there, but we don't have it. So we don't know. We don't know if we're gonna need it or not. But in our config, there is nothing course.php. So how we can just update all of these things? So what we can do here, we can just say PHP. artisan oh sorry php yes artisan vendor publish and now it should give me so i can hit number nine and, it's, and put a course there uh, but i'm just gonna do it zero and publish files from all of the providers and tags listed before uh below so i'm gonna do that and that's pretty much done now if i refresh here I should have where is it course so this should be pretty much identical with what they have here maybe a little bit different but it is support credentials should be there false yep it's already it's, it's been there now that's what I've done the app is there the auth is there and yes so I think we are very good here now let's check out the application by the way we we don't know so you go you can go laravelultipro.com here it is you can go slash to landing very good you can go to login register and if you hook it up with the php php my admin Ignore all. You're not. You should not gonna be able to see. Uh, you should not be. You should not see this error in your place. Now I have a couple of database here. I'm gonna use La Lara login. So I want to see if it's, I'm gonna be able to register users. So I'm gonna e dot env, and instead of database, I will say Lara login. So you can create a new database, or you can use some of the old ones, right? 
But this Laravel login, I do have a couple of things inside, right? I do have roles, users. So maybe you should use from the previous one. Doesn't matter which one is. Now you know how to create that. Now let's go here. I'm just going to copy this part. I'm going to paste it there. So I just want to go here, login. Sorry. I need to register. By the way, I'm going to go to the users and I'm going to check all and I'm going to delete them all. all right, I just want them to be empty. I'm just going to refresh here. I'm going to say Rick, Rick, hotmail.com. The password is one till nine. So register and we are good to go. You're logged in as a user. Rick here is there. Now, if you don't have any database, you should put it here. But before, because we were working with our like uh, first part, you should have some database with the users tables inside, right? Now that's working. You don't need to worry about this part because we're going to install it later. So it's not something that you should be worried about. So that's pretty much it. Now you have this Laravel 7 version. So if you go back to docs, that's pretty much it. So next lecture i will show you how to do a fresh installation of this one which is pretty much pretty much same just we need to go yeah we it will it's 99 percent same as we have done with version 6 but i will install it for you guys so yeah and you will not be able having a problems or you can just try it by your own so composer create project in here prefer this and should be laravel laravel in the name of your project here that's pretty much it. And it will install the latest version of PHP, of, Lar of this Laravel framework. So thank you for watching. I hope you understand now how you can upgrade. You do have this PHP artisan dash dash version. We do have this the newest version that we are working on. And that's how you can jump from one version to another. So thank you, guys. And I hope you enjoyed this. See you in the next one.